Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. If you are one of our new subscribers that have subscribed lately, then welcome to our channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new, my name is Nikita and my sister-in-law Jen has offered to be our surrogate. She is 29 weeks on Saturday, so I mostly document videos around that and just general vlogs as well. So today will be an update from the 4D scan last week. Um, if you haven't followed us, we're over at the Jarrett Family Official over on Instagram. Give us a follow on there and we do post regular, more regular updates on there. They get on there quicker than they do on YouTube. So last week we went to our 4D scan and if you did watch the last video, she had her legs doubled up right in front of her face. So I thought that we got some really good photos but the person that did the scan said that she could get some better ones. So he invited us to come back for free um, the week after. So we went back the week that sh the weekend that's just gone. So we are on Tuesday today. So we went back on Saturday that's just gone and we got some absolutely amazing pictures. Um, I'll get them now for you. <clears throat> and like I say, I will do a slideshow at the end with the photos as well because sometimes there's quite a bit of a glare on the camera so you can't see them properly. But yeah, we got some amazing pictures, like I say. Um, and then we had to pick six to go in frames as well because that came with the package that we got. So I'll show you these. The woman, when she was doing them, she said that she had to catch her really quick to get the pictures because she was just continuously moving and wriggling around um, all the time we was there at the scan. <coughs> So the first picture is this one. She's got giving us the peace sign at the top there. And you can see a little thumb in front of her fingers. You can see that. And the second one, she has got her arm up near her face. And the woman was saying that she's got really, really ch chubby cheeks. And then the third one, she's got her arm up again near her head. I think it's so amazing how they can get these pictures. So there was the pictures we got in black and white and we got we had to pick six to go in the frames like i say so we picked these six we picked two of this one because we really liked it and we thought it was funny so we gave jen one so she could take one back to show her kids and her husband and everyone and obviously for a keepsake as well and we got this one printed so it's on like glossy paper so it is quite blurry but i'll try my best to put it on here and like i say i will do a slideshow of them afterwards as well that's the one with a hand um, up near her head. This one we got taken at the 27 week scan. Um, but we really liked it. We thought it was funny because she was yawning. So we got that printed on the frame as well. And this one she is rubbing her eyes. And this one, she's got her chin on her chest, so her cheeks look even more chubbier. <laughs> and then this one, she's got a hand up near her head as well. So I think they're really, really cute. They're amazing, them pictures. I'm really happy with them. I mean, I was happy with the ones that we got before, but obviously she knew that she could get these ones. That's why she called us back. So yeah, we're really happy with these. Um, she did give us a USB stick as well and a CD, um, just with loads of more pictures on. So I will, like I say, I will put a slideshow at the end of this video and I will put all the pictures there. Also, we did get a DVD um, with the scan on I'm not sure what format it's in because we did try take the DVD off to put on his phones and we couldn't do it so if I can get it off then I will put a little clip of the like the moving DVD as well in 
Um, but if not, then I don't know. I'll try screen record it, record it or something on the computer, and I'll try to get it on here. But um, apart from that, there's no more updates yet. We did have the midwife this week, but unfortunately, one of Jen's children, um, someone in their class, tested positive for COVID. So they have to, even though they're negative, they have to isolate for the ten days which means that nobody can go to the house so we had to cancel the midwife appointment this week um, which is fine um, it's rebooked for the 4th of August so we haven't got anything on this week now and next Tuesday so a week today we have got the it's supposed to be the 28 week scan but because it's been pushed back because Jen needed a diabetes consultant for because she does have gestational diabetes so because we needed a different consultant they had to push that back so we could get the um the consultant that we needed so that's been pushed back and that's next tuesday now so it's classed as a 28 week scan but she will be like 29 and a bit weeks 29 and a half uh, so we'll go see her see what's said before the consultant we've got the growth scan at the hospital as well so um, they did say that they was planning on inducing her at around 38 or 39 weeks. So we will see what they say when they take the measurements and everything. I have, I am going to do the room tour straight after this video. Um, if you have, if you are following me on Instagram, you do know that we've got the last package ready for the room tour, which is here. Oh, Simba's coming to join us. Um, but we did get this package which came the other day and this was the last bit that I was waiting for to do the room tour you can see a little dressing gown there um, but this was the last bit that we was waiting for to do the room tour because um, all the walls were bare and this is something that we bought for the wall that one of my friends recommended and um, that she was going to get for the room and I just thought it looked really really pretty so yeah we went ahead and bought it and we're going to you have to arrange it on the wall so we're going to arrange it and then stick it on and then i can get the room tour done then for you all and it might be a double video because the thing that we've got for the wall it does have her name in the middle of it because we have chosen a name now so it might be a room tour and a name reveal at the same time so it might be a bit of a two-in-one video there oh hello <laughs> it's coming to see what we're doing it's absolutely boiling in this weather i've uh, we bought like a massive fan so when he's been laying in the bedroom or laying in here uh, we have just been putting the fan on and pointing it down at him so he's got a nice breeze um because it's been absolutely boiling um these past couple of days it's it's been nice, I aren't complaining, but the house has been so stuffy and warm and so we've bought a fan and that's on most of the night and it keeps him cool. So yeah, there's no more updates. Um, I will put the room tour on like I say and then next week when we have the growth scan and the consultant, I will update you all then as well. And I am going to do a video as well. I thought it'd be fun to do um, a video on names that we was playing around with that we liked but we won't be using so i th think what we'll do a video on that as well so i've got a few video ideas please comment below if you have had a 4d scan and um, to let me know how you found it if you would have one again um also if you have already had your baby as well let me know if the 4d scan if your baby does look like the scan like in the picture that you got because that will be um obviously nice to know because i'm don't know what she'll look like yet hopefully we'll be able to compare the photos when she's born on here as well and um, that'll be uh, interesting but yeah um hope you like this video if you are new here please subscribe and for all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys